Here, at 468 metres above sea level, the watershed is behind us. And this plateau of the Long Mind, to the east of the watershed, forms the source of the Ash Brook. In the middle distance, you can see the Iron Age hill fort on the top of Bodbury Hill. Moving east, down a tributary valley, we approach the Lightspout waterfall. The water cascades into a plunge pool, eroding the softer rock and undercutting the hard rock itself until it collapses into the plunge pool. In this way, the waterfall retreats over time up the valley. Returning to the other tributary valley, we descend along Mott's Road. Note the valley here, in its upper course, shows the typical V-shape with interlocking spurs or ridges. Slopes are very steep, causing a short lag in time between peak rainfall and peak runoff. Vertical erosion due to the steep gradient causes the V-shaped valley. As we descend, we come to the confluence, where the stream from Lightspout meets that running alongside Mott's Road. Here, we enter the middle course of the river. The valley widens, as does the river, and we start to see meanders forming. You may spot scree on the slopes to the left, produced by weathering, freeze and then thaw. As you can see, there are few trees on the valley sides, due to the activities of sheep who will eat any saplings that try to grow. This reduces interception and infiltration, meaning more water gets into the river faster, which again contributes to a short lag time and high peak flow. The path climbing to the right is called the pipe walk. The old route of the pipe moving water from this valley into the old reservoir in the adjacent valley. As we fly down into the top car park, it was used as a swimming pool in the past, the valley floor widens further into an obvious flood plain. You get a glimpse of one of the mill pools in New Pool Hollow to the right of the picture. At this point in the lower course of the brook, take a pause to look at the pre-Victorian photo of the valley. Notice where the river is in relation to the road. Now, look at the current situation and the original river course has been diverted by infilling of the channel. It now runs on the left-hand side of the road as you look at it and not on the right. It leaves only one river crossing and since then the river has carved a new course. The floodplain here in the lower course is much wider. There's significant impact from cars and coaches parking on this area and lateral erosion is obvious from the meanders. Faster water on the outside of the bend has clearly eroded and undercut the banks, forming river cliffs. And the slower rate on the inside has deposited sediment to form slip-off slopes. You can also see evidence of use by tourists in the many dams across the river. This is not great for the fish. Also note the trees in the bottom of the valley, which thrive due to the fences around private gardens. As we reach the bottom of the valley, you can see the stone trap. That's part of Church Stretton's flood defences. This is designed to catch bedload rocks moved downstream by storms and prevent them from raising the riverbed and causing flooding or causing direct damage with bigger rocks. In Storm Babette in 2023, this stone trap was filled with approximately 320 tonnes in a few hours. The material had to be excavated out, transported to the top of the hill and was used to repair pathways. On leaving the Carding Mill Valley, the Ash Brook is channelised. It follows through a deep artificial channel designed to slow the flow rate and to contain any flood water alongside the recreation ground. It eventually discharges into Liso's Meadow, a local nature reserve between the railway line and the A49. Currently, it's a boggy, undefined area 
but the Environment Agency will be working alongside Network Rail and the Town Council to restore the natural channel of the river, which will hopefully alleviate flooding that has taken place in previous years. The video shows you the normal benign state of the river, but we do occasionally get extreme weather events such as this. which we may see more of due to climate change.